This is an extremely difficult performance piece for me. If it weren't for Earthy, I would have just skipped it completely, but uh, she's more divine. She's more evolved, so here we go. Well, I get to my mom's room, and I'm greeted solemnly by the nurse, who uh, says, so. Uh, your mother waited for you. She saw you drive into the parking lot. And then she exhaled peacefully and passed away. <sighs> I experienced a uh, bottomless exhalation. I wish to be alone with my mother's body. Close the door. Perform Buddhist prayers. Or I don't know how long. Still something profoundly not right around here. The spiritual aura is not in alignment at all. So, uh, Impulsively, just intuitively, this is no mind at all, anywhere near this, what I'm doing. Um, I place Dad's cremated remains in a little cardboard box to the right of my mother's dead heart. And I lay the family Bible, the big one, to the right side of her heart. Yeah, incredibly. This deathbed maneuver reunites their spirits. Oh, yeah. Uh, I witness a uh, translucent celestial, um, kind of like a little micro hurricane, but upside down uh, and swirling upwards from the uh, heart of my mother. She looks like a Mayan princess. She's so glowing. You have to be right there at a death a situation like this to realize the power, the transcendent spiritual power that comes down right at this time. I've never seen mom look so beautiful. You know, and really like a Mayan princess. She looks so American. Uh, yeah. I'm so ecstatic, so relieved that I have been a good boy. <laughs> I've been a good, a good kid. And then I got my parents finally back together. Finally, yeah, reunited. They're on the road again together. Like when they eloped to California in 1945 as teenagers. Mm -hmm. Then it hits me. Oh, wait a minute. It's that Sunday uh, that the preacher man is going to do a, a prayer service for my father. <laughs> well, you might as well make it for two dead parents to pray over. And it's happening in like 30 minutes. Well, after taking final St. Croset uh, photographs of my dead mother's corpse, the Mayan princess, so, uh, I telephone, I tell, look, staff, you know, I'm a nurse. Okay, I know how all this works. I mean, every night on, at the nursing home, somebody died. In comes the gurney, the big zippered bag with a huge zipper, zip it all up. Uh, be sure you put a, a tag on their toe so we know which corpse is which. So I tell the staff, like, I expect my mom's body to be gone. Telephone the uh, funeral parlor. and I just did it for Dad. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to church. Mm -hmm. Methodist church? Mm -hmm. I can try, uh, cry. 
uncontrollable <laughs> through the whole ordeal. <clears throat> Passionate parishioners console me from behind me, <laughs> in front of me, all over. Go through two boxes of tissues. Now I've got to return to the family trailer by myself. Who's riding shotgun? Cremated remains of my father beside me. Well, I salute the dummy for his Zen patience and, I mean, tolerance for everybody. I mean, you know, like a frozen buddy thought was like, you know. Oh, well, what to do? I'm wandering around. I'm the only one left. Well, wander into Dad's room. What? I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm like, I, I can't believe it. I'm thunderstruck to witness that the uh, pint of liquor has inexplicably fallen face down onto the carpet. That Southern Comfort, huh? It would never be in Dad's room. And what's over that? The poster of Barack Obama. Covering the bottle of alcohol. And uh, the curtains. They've always blown inward before. Now, the, how are they blowing outwards? What's caught? Somebody was in a hurry to leave out the windows. The white gauzy curtain blowing outwards to heaven and the atmosphere in the trailer. For the first time since I've been here, absolutely becalmed or like the Greeks say, bonatza. The sea is bonatza, not a ripple. I have lost my appetite. Dad has gone home with Mom. Their spirits together forever. Thank you, Goddess of Earth, for supporting me and all this. Be bewildering labyrinth, all right, of the human soul. I'll never forget your grace and help me meet through this heart-wrenching dose of common human life. Human tears. Absolute vulnerability. Break down. Shadowed by the genera generous helping hands of total strangers. Well, once the trailer is sold, there's that check in the mail, huh? $30,000. Blessings to my first gurus, Happy Allen and Reynolds. Yeah, thanks, Mom and Dad, for bankrolling yeah, my trip to the womb of Ganesh. Last time, and before I, too, pass away. Well, what can you do? How about reincarnating as an angel to help those poor humans left behind?